Hi guys, it's Tammy and I have another package from Grove Collaborative. So this means it's some more cleaning supplies. So let's go ahead and get started and see what I got. Ugh. So I am excited for this one. Um, this is my first, well, this is my third, I guess, shipment. But my first time kind of really knowing what I was doing. Well, as much as I could know after just trying it. I guess having tried some product though and being excited about it. Oops, something fell out. It is my packing slip. Okay. So I got some freebies. This was a freebie. This is a tough scrubber with a soft touch and it's a walnut and cellulose scrubber. I haven't tried these yet. I have another set, but I haven't tried them. But that was a freebie. And this is a freebie, mint and argon lip balm with hydrating chai si oil. Supremely hydrating, ultra nourishing. open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, it's not circular. It's an oval. Oh, it smells really good. I'm not going to put it on because it will take off my lipstick, but it is very nice. I need to open my window a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna take everything out, I think, and then I will show you. So I will be right back after I've taken everything out, but I am excited. Okay, I think I have 17 things, which is crazy. They all fit in that little box. Well, it wasn't a little box, but um, I am going to mark it off just to make sure that I have everything. I think I am. Walnut scrubbers, got those. And I need to find the lip balm. There it is. Got that. All right. So then I'm going to just open this one because it's interesting. I don't know what this one is. It is hand sanitizer gel. And this is in blood orange. You guys can't see that. Mm, that smells really good. It smells like orange. Very citrusy. I'm sure it's great. It's with moisturizing coconut oil. I might put that in my car. Um, hand sanitizer. It's the travel size. So I'll cross that out. And then next I have this Method All-Purpose Clementine Scented Spray. Now, I'm giving this a second chance because the first one that I got of these the only other one that I have of these, the squirter does not work well at all. And I know I could probably call them and let them know, but it squirts and then it won't pop out until five minutes later and then it pops out and then you can squirt it again and then again you have to wait a long time. So that's a real pain. But I'm going to smell this and see what I think. I did buy lots of different things in different, or lots of the same thing in different scents so I could smell. Well, this is nice. It's a very clean, yet a little orangey smelling. Naturally derived surface cleaner in Clementine. So that makes sense the way that it smells. And um, I like the product. I just didn't like the sprayer. So I ended up switching out the sprayer with one that I'd already had. And it works fine, but I'm hoping that I don't have to do that this time. So let me mark that off as all-purpose cleaner and Clementine. Now, this multi-surface cleaner is my favorite. I am super excited about this multi-surface cleaner. I love it, and I've almost finished a bottle, and this is in the peony scent, so I'm not sure, but I've heard great things about this scent, so I'm gonna try it. Ooh, that's very nice. It's floral. 
but it's not too florally. I mean, it smells like a clean, fresh spring flower. I mean, this is a great spring scent. And this is, like I said, the, the everyday clean, clean cleaner. It removes dirt and freshens surfaces. And I use this every day on something. It's fabulous. I use that on lots of things. So let me find that one. And Peony multi-surface cleaner and spring peony and to stay with that scent I also have the peony hand soap which I'm not going to smell because I know what that smells like but it's very nice and then I also have oh I guess I got two of these multi-surface cleaners in the peony and it is very nice I'll probably take one upstairs and just leave it up there and then I'll leave one down here and then the hand soap will be for the bathroom downstairs here and it is very good. I really, their hand soap is nice. Um, I have a hand soap in there now. I like the foaming hand soap a little better, to be honest. But um, I don't mind this either. It's, it's good stuff. So let me go ahead and cross this one off. Hand soap, spring peony, and I got two of those, so that's right. And then let's go into the lilac scent. And I got two of these in the lilac scent. I had gotten the lilac scent before, so I know what it smells like. And this is wonderful. It smells so good. If you like lilacs, you will like this because it smells just like lilacs. Oh, it smells so good. Fresh and clean and floral and just it screams spring to me. And again, this is the multi-surface cleaner. And I got two of those as well. I think that one might be my favorite scent, at least so far. And let's see, sticking with the oh, multi-surface cleaner, I told you I wanted to try lots of different scents. This one is in the basil scent. And these next two scents, this one and the next one, I don't think I would have picked out had someone not said that they really liked it. So in watching other videos, I've seen other people say that they really like these two scents. So this one's basil. That's good. I mean, it smells smells herbish and um, clean. It's not my favorite. I think I like the other ones better for sure, the peony and the lilac. But this isn't a floral scent. It is more herb, but not like pizza. It doesn't smell like that, but it smells earthy and herby. I mean, it's good. It's nice. So basil. And then another weird scent, I think, is radish. It's again the multi-surface cleaner. And the scent radish. I never would have picked that out. Would you have picked radish? Actually, that one is very nice. It's a little earthy still. It's not florally. Um, I wouldn't pick it out and say, oh, I smell radishes. It's not like that, but it is very nice. I like the scent. Um, it's very clean smelling and fresh. So that's the radish. I do like that one. I still think I like the florals better, but I can see how sometimes when you're cleaning, you don't want it to smell like floral. So. You know, sometimes I might not. And then I got another one of these Method All Purpose. Um, and this one is Lime and Sea Salt. I really didn't remember that I was getting two of these. I don't think I would have done that if I had been thinking, especially not with all the others. I like the, these Mrs. Myers better than the Method, I think. So this is Method. And again, you can get some of these products from Target or wherever. This is very lightly scented. It doesn't have much of a scent at all. I was just looking to see what the scent was again. Lime and sea salt. And it does smell like lime a little bit, but it's very, very light. But it's very good. I mean, it smells nice. Friends don't let friends use dirty ingredients to clean. So that is what's cool about Mrs. Myers and Method and Grove Collaborative in general is that the the products that they sell you are natural and fresh and fresh they're not fresh they're natural 
um, so you know that you're it's safe to use in the refrigerator or around food or around kids or whatever so um, not that you'd want to eat it but you know what I'm saying I think it's a very good product and they deliver to your house so if you have something or you need something it will just automatically resend things you can sign up and have them redeliver whatever your favorite products are and I think that's a great service and then let's see let me move into this one this is some room freshener and I got the lemon verbena and I, for, for Verbena, and I already have this scent, I think, and actually I think that this was a freebie, so I didn't really get to pick out the scent for this one. I know it was a freebie. So, um, but it smells really good, and I really like these air fresheners. Yeah, it's very nice. It's clean. Hmm, it's not my favorite, but it is a very nice scent. There's something about it though that makes me go, mm. but um, it's not. A, it's it's nice for a room freshener for sure. And this spray bottle is kind of interesting, isn't it? So there's that. Let's see, room freshener. And then they have these new products that are made by Aunt Fanny's, and I thought that I would try a few of them. And it looks like I got four different things. The first thing is an all-purpose pest remedy, and it says kid-friendly, um, pest-unfriendly, <laughs> and this will just micros microcosmic. Um, we are microcosmic. Each of us is in our own micro microbiome. I don't know with gazillions of invisible alien allies that keep us safe and strong. Even natural products can disrupt it. Stay safe and be strong with Aunt Fanny's modern products, millions of years in the making. Drive out creepy crawlies without surrounding your home and your loved ones with excessive chemical pesticides. Easy and highly effective, Aunt Fanny's keeps your living space free of pests and concern. So this lasts for up to 30 days. Shake well before each use. Use as part of your normal cleaning routine to establish a protective barrier, spray around windows, doors, and baseboards, spray on surfaces under sinks and cabinets, corners and behind appliances, spray directly on pets as necessary. So um, I get ants. I have my, I don't know, this room in particular gets ants and so does the kitchen. I don't know if it's the way, I don't know. Every house gets some pest, I'm sure, but um, ants are a problem here, especially in the spring. And I've seen some, but then I haven't seen any for a little bit because I think it's gotten so cold that they've gone back into the ground or wherever they go. Um, but I'm hoping that this will help get rid of them. My husband sprays chemicals outside, but I'd like to use this inside. As you guys know, I have animals and I just want something that I can use that isn't going to be yucky. And I can see that there is a little bit of buildup on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little bit of white. So you do have to shake it. And then that white will kind of go away. And yeah, I think that that's worth a shot anyway. And then keeping, like I said, I have ants. So this is an ant remedy. And it looks like it's about the same kind of a deal. I don't know if it's the same thing. This one lasts 30 days. And this one lasts 30 days. They both say to shake. Let's see. Hopefully I didn't buy two of the same product. Does it tell me what's in it? Residential and commercial use, non-staining staining formula. And this one says get rid of ants and other creepy crawlies without carpet bombing your home in conventional chemical pesticides. Easy and highly effective. Ant Fanny's keeps your living space free of pests and concern. Um, oh, here are the active ingredients. Let's see. Cottonseed oil. They are a little different. This one has clove oil and cottonseed oil. This one has more cottonseed oil and then clove oil. So they're about the same, but then it contains glycerin, it looks like misritic acid, potassium oleate, potassium stearate, soap and water. 
So they are almost exactly the same, but um, this one has a little bit more, this one has 0.05% more cottonseed oil than this one. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. So I don't know if you should buy both of them uh, if you have this ant problem or whatever. If you just want to buy one, it might work for both of you or for everything. And then I got this one too. And this is a powder that you put around the perimeter. And it repels crawling insects like cockroaches, ants, and fleas. So I'm interested mostly in the ants and then the fleas because I do have animals and my dog does go out um, and this one says sprinkle around perimeter of house and in cracks or crevices wildly effective at keeping roaches ants fleas and other creepy crawlies away yet safe near loved ones designed to use outdoors but perfectly okay to use in an attic basement or other areas where bugs enter and invade non-disruptive ingredients that work. Um, and this one lasts 30 days once applied. So I don't know, it looks like it's probably one application um, once you've sprinkled it around, just because I know that sometimes things like this don't go very far, but I'm definitely gonna sprinkle it all around the front of the house here, and then um, probably in the back by the sliding glass door, which is where I think some of the ants might be coming into. And then this one is Auntie Fanny's Glass and Window Vinegar Wash. And the reason I got this was for the outside windows. I have a wonderful spray that I use for the inside, but I thought that this might be good to try on the outside. And it says, um, takes glass surfaces from smudgy to sparkly. And spray directly onto glass surfaces, then wipe with a cloth, cloth or sponge. So I don't know if I'm going to actually wipe all of the windows outside. You know, some of them are really high and hard to get to, but I thought that this might be nice to mix with our water hose thing that we have that helps clean the windows, and maybe that will help make them cleaner and sparklier. So that's kind of what I was thinking with this one. It kind of looked more industrial, like it would be an outside product, but what do I know? But that's what I was using it for. So that's everything that I got. I'm really kind of excited about the ant fannies. I think that those are new and um, I would love to not have ants because I just can't stand them. They're just little pests and ugh, I can't stand them. I don't like bugs at all. So this will be good. I think I'm excited to try those and I think that it, I feel safe enough that I can do it. Not that I wouldn't do the other ones, but my husband mostly does all the other spraying and stuff, and I'll still let him do that probably, but I probably won't even tell him that I'm doing this. I'll just go ahead and do it and see what I can come up with on my own. And then the other products, as you know, I will use those just because I love them, and I am excited about the multi-surface. So I will talk with you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.